What's up my people? Welcome back to J6 Flips. Uh, for you newcomers, my name is Jonathan. I'm a part-time reseller here in the San Fernando Valley. I'm heading up to Santa Clarita today to visit my buddy Pat. He's going to end up taking some candles up to uh, Bakersfield for me, but we're also going to hit some thrift shops while I'm in the area. So um, yeah, let's thrift. Before hitting the uh, freeway, I stopped here on Reseda Boulevard in Northridge to go to Cafe Aficionado, my favorite cafe by far. Um, yeah, let's get some So I've made it to Santa Clarita. It's just up the five freeway from the valley. Um, this is the Goodwill I'm meeting Patrick at. He, this is his local Goodwill. He's originally from this area. Um, last time I was here, I had zero service. I was only here quickly just to kind of run in and look around, um, but I didn't have any service. So maybe that's the challenge today is to see if I can find some things without having to look it up. I'm just going based off gut instinct and obviously just the experience of knowing what, what sells and what doesn't sell. Um, yeah, Patrick should be here any second. He's the other half of Third Eye Liquidators. You met Trev the other day on uh, my previous video. Uh, we're meeting up with Pat today. All right, we're in Santa Cruz with Patrick, Third Eye Liquidators, the other half. Thanks. Thank you. There's no service in here, so we gotta use our brains. That's what I remember from last time. I came uh, before a game at Valencia and, man. I like to hit this case right here. Oh yeah. It's more sanitizing. Hmm, I think I'm good on that. So I found this old school Nike sleeveless with the center check. Old school tag. It's uh, priced at four bucks with 25% off. So three bucks, probably taking that. All right, so I only ended up getting that, um, this Nike sleeveless shirt. Um, yeah, it was just cool to see Pat for a little bit. And then, yeah, we planned on going to the Santa Clarita flea market on either Tuesday or Sunday, so we'll be doing that soon too. Right now I'm heading over to Canyon Country to pick up a Mama Roo swing for uh, infants. Um, it's 20 bucks because there's an issue with the sensor or something, so I'm gonna try to fix it and see if I can flip it. If not, then what can you do? Drive into the next spot, and of course there is a Toppers. So I was going to head home um, but my wife found some stuff on Facebook Marketplace that's in the area out here where I am now. Um, so I'm waiting for them to message back. So I'm just killing some time. I found another Goodwill in Canyon Country. So I'm going to go on in um, and maybe just do a quick sweep, maybe less than 10 minutes. And just uh, I'll just take one consecutive shot and see what we come up with.
All right, so that was probably the quickest stop I've ever done at a Goodwill. Um, there was so many things in there. The place was huge. Um, I could probably spend more than an hour in there, definitely combing through everything. But it was cool to just stop in. Now I know where it is. Now I know what to expect when I walk in. So no, not a wasted effort either. So yeah, heading back down to the valley now. Believe it or not, it is raining here again in sunny Southern California. So I'm heading towards this area I call the Bermuda Triangle of thrifting. Um, these three thrift stores are really close to each other. You park once and you can just hit all three of them. Uh, the three are, there's a Goodwill, there's a Genuine Thrift Store, and the Council Shop. So the Genuine Thrift Store is closed. They usually have this section full too, but it looks pretty empty in there. So hopefully they replenish it soon. Good news. The council shops right here so we're gonna check that out So no luck in the council shop. They were closing up too. I didn't want to be the last one in there, so I just headed out. Um, yeah, on to the next one though. Alrighty, so I ended up getting a bunch of clothes. I was kind of in a source and mood. I needed to get some stuff to list and just keep busy. Um, I had gotten through my death pile pretty quickly, so um, I got obviously have to keep more coming in. But I also came upon this Sonos speaker. It's a big fella, pretty heavy. Uh, I'm not sure how much it'll be to ship. Maybe, hopefully not more than 20, but I guess we'll see depending on where it goes. Um, but it didn't have a price tag. I, uh, I asked the guy if he could do it or if I'm gonna have to wait for them to put a label on it, but he did it real quick and um, got me the price, 15 bucks for this. A comps online, I was finding it for like 150. So we'll see how it goes. This is the model, uh, the Play 5. So a lot of them online were, uh, they were black. This one's white, so I'm not sure the big difference, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm safe with the, with a the $15 purchase on. And I'm pretty sure I have some nice room for profit there, so. All right, so I ended up spending $77 there. Uh, 15 of that was for the Sonos speaker, which should be more than 100 once I get a cord for it. Um, and the clothes I found, Youth Adidas Dodger sweater, two Zara Hawaiian shirts, both size XL, really soft and not season now, but should be coming up soon. Got this Express jacket. It's just got like a really old school look to it. Even the sleeve here. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Clemson Coliseum Polo. Shout out Harry Tornado and Haley Tornado. Tiger Woods Polo and a Ruka short sleeve button up. I might end up keeping that, but we'll see. Some red Nike running shorts, and by far my favorite piece from here, or from today's haul, a BJ Penn Ruka shirt. If it was my size, I'd definitely keep it. 
but Ruka has been I've been selling Ruka well and BJ Penn is a fan favorite I don't care what you say about his most recent fights he's still uh, still a legend and the prodigy so shout out BJ Penn